Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. The S6 version 2.1 software update is all about refinement and usability, as well as adding support for the new Master Joystick module. This video will go over these new enhancements. As with version 2.0, the S6 2.1 update will require an activation ID number and either an offline or online activation process to install the software. The activation code will be available in the user's Avid account if the console has a current Avid Advantage Expert Plus support plan. Please see the What's New in S6 version 2.1 document for detailed instructions on how to activate the software. The S6 version 2.1 software update includes support for the new Master Joystick module. This module allows for mono or stereo surround panning, as well as control of a channel's parameters from the touch-sensitive joysticks. We will go over this module in more detail in a separate video. The console settings have now been split into two sections, User and System Preferences. System Preferences are global preferences such as Surface Brightness, GPIO, Language, and KVM activation. User preferences are those that tailor the console's actions to a specific user's needs. As these user preferences are very detailed and will vary greatly from user to user, you now have the option of saving and recalling these user preferences. This is done from the bottom of the User Preferences Settings page. The Save switch will bring up a dialog box to name and pick a location to save the preference file to. This can be done on the Master Module's internal storage, or you can save them to a connected USB flash drive for portability or to a network drive for facility-wide connectivity. This will make setting up and using the S6 a much more personal experience. Also, activating the KVM Support Enable switch will display a new KVM menu option for either setting up a serial or Ethernet-based KVM system. Presets for Geffen, GND, as well as a new Ethernet option for IHSC are available. Along with this, there is also support for multiple selectable network connections. See the What's New in S6 version 2.1 guide for detailed instructions on setting this up. In previous versions of S6 software, certain track-based preferences such as channel selection mode, solo switch, and automatic spill of attention VCA settings were in the Tracks Local Options menu. These have now been moved to the User Preferences and are under the Strips section. This will allow these preferences to get stored and saved with the other user preferences. The knob and pan sensitivity control range has been renamed Fine to Course. A new Tracks Local Option setting, Auto Select Joystick Strips when storing layouts, has been added for the new Master Joystick module. This preference determines the state of the joystick blocks when storing layouts. Layouts have been further refined with the following improvements. You can now exit a layout by pressing the Select Layout soft key. This will exit back to banking mode. You can also exit out of a layout by pressing the type switch and selecting a track type to display. This is also a new feature in that you can now display any track type without being in a spill zone in the top level of the surface. To exit out of this view, just select the All Track Type. You can now have VCA masters as members and spill them within an already spilled VCA. To unspill up one level, press the menu switch once quickly. To completely unspill and exit VCA spill mode, press and hold the menu switch for longer than one second. The input function parameters for remote controlled mic preamps have changed to a more intuitive layout. The order is as follows. Input assign, gain, phantom, phase, high pass filter, pad, source, and impedance. For pan improvements, in addition to adding support for the master joystick module, link and inverse pan control have been added to the pan parameters. These can be accessed from the channel strip encoders in either strip mode or expand mode, as well as from the master module home screen. The resolution of some functions, such as EQ parameters, has been increased and now S6 can get to all of those values. The knob sensitivity slider, if set all the way to the left, will give you maximum fine control of these parameters. If you prefer to have the knobs respond more coarsely most of the time, set the slider where you want. 
Then hold Command for Mac or Control for PC to put the encoder into a temporary find mode. On the Master Module homepage, individual inserts now have slightly different colors to differentiate between each plugin's controls. For auto population in both expand zone and home screen function views, you can now specify individual insert slots. Go to the home screen and tap on the gear icon. In the selectors for primary and backup function views for both expand zones and home screen functions, you now have the choice of specifying inserts 1 through 10 as a default view. This will automatically show that insert's parameters when selected. The bank and nudge switches now light up to show if there are channels to bank or nudge in that direction. They will also show the color of the type of tracks they can bank at that time. Dark green for VCA spill, dark blue for layouts, and light blue for top level banking mode, track types, or workstations. For expand zone display module improvements, there is now a magenta outline around the expand zone parameters on the display module. Also, if a plugin supports EQ and dynamic plots, they are now shown in the expand zone. In version 2.1, the soft keys have been added to and further refined for even more functionality and better control over your workflow. First, you can now load and save custom soft key app sets. At the bottom of the soft keys screen, there are now load and save switches. Pressing the save switch will bring up a dialog box to save the current soft keys app set. This file can be saved directly to the master module internal storage, to an external USB flash drive for portability, or to connected network storage to move the sets around the facility, just like the user preferences. This will make it easy to customize the S6 to a particular user's workflow and recall it with a quick and easy step. Next, there are several new additions and pages to the default Pro Tools soft keys. New Pro Tools features like Commit, Track Bounce, and all the new Fade functionality in Pro Tools 12.3 have been euconized and added. There is also a new view for Show Hide Tracks, letting you quickly see just the tracks you need in the session right from the console. More advanced setup for Solo, MIDI, and Video, as well as Import-Export features and commands have also been added. On the Master Module Write Session 1 page, a Pan Window Show Hide command has been added. On the Automation Module Right Tools page, a page jump switch for zoom and track size functions have been added, allowing quick access to many functions for zoom and track views. To help with the navigation of all four soft key screens at one time, you can now use the numeric keypad in conjunction with the shift modifier switch to change all four screens to different views, depending on what workflow is currently needed. There are 10 presets defined in this chart. To load the soft keys app set with all of these changes, you can just restore the factory defaults from the soft key settings page on the master module. If you have modified and made custom changes to your current soft key settings, please save a copy of these before resetting back to the factory defaults. With Xmod, you can now see the monitor mute status on the master module. This is shown by lighting the monitor level encoder red. On all Yukon monitor solutions, you can now rename speaker outputs and monitor queue outputs right from the master module. These names and labels are saved with the user's preference file. To reset a name to default, delete the name and exit out of the naming dialog. The default name will then be restored. So as you can see, the 2.1 S6 software update is about refining the workflow process and making things easier to accomplish. Add to that, the ability to save preferences and soft key settings lets the user create their own custom environment and take it with them anywhere they need to go. And now with the master joystick module, there are more creative options than ever before. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.